Well, I think, as you know, the, uh, the, uh, there's a lot of skepticism. Uh, and part of it, I think, has to do with this notion of non-cognitive skill. So, I mean, you know, I, people think of this, that I got interested in non-cognitive skills only because I became convinced that it's this, this is the channel through which these programs are operating, much more so than changing IQ. There's an IQ effect in the Evolutionarian. But the trouble is non-cognitive skill has this associated freight of fu fuzzy skills, soft skills, right. no good measurement systems, a lot of controversy in the psychology about this. People are fighting each other about what their personality is even stable. So uh, I'm actually in the middle. <laughs> I was talking earlier today, I gave a paper, uh, which I'm doing with a psychologist actually, a very bright young woman at um, Penn's. But we actually started looking at this question about non-cognitive skills. Now, my mo she's not at all interested in development. She's a personality psychologist. Mm. But slowly, I got her in to at least understand, teach me anyway, what personality psychologists knew. Then I realized they were adult personality psychologists, and they were uh, child temperament psychologists. Mm. And they didn't speak to each other. Only now they do. So I view this as kind of an act of desperation. We're trying to put together all of the best knowledge. We can't influence the intervention. I'm not sure it's the best intervention. We can affect the study design, but we can certainly affect the measurement systems. So that's why Angela is now actually working with us and others to try to develop instruments so we can start measuring these traits. And then, of course, the measures of blood sample, cortisol, and so forth. My guess is. But meanwhile, you know the work of Adele Diamond, right? And this recent study that just came out in Science last week, two weeks ago. No, I, I don't know. I haven't seen that one. No, it's a new study. Yeah. And it's on executive functioning. They did a study, a very interesting study. It was an early childhood intervention, only a short term follow up, experimentally determined. They, it, the intervention was an interesting type. One was trying to track what are called executive functions. And it was just motivating that in addition to cognitive functionings. So they had two sets of interventions. One was strictly a cognitive intervention, and the other was a cognitive intervention with the executive function component. Uh, we know that executive functioning and so forth plays a huge role in getting kids to be. But see, my view as I've gotten into it, even the concept of executive functioning is not so clear. Yeah. See, I, I think it's kind of like cancer was 30 years ago. They gave the same name to a lot of different manifestations. Yeah. And, and no, and actually, I mean, I, and the more I under, because I've asked, I can't tell you the number of psychologists I've asked, please explain this. And I get this mishmash of things, right? It's, well, it's working memory, it's self control. It, I say, well, working memory is totally different from, you know, self control. And so I actually think it, that's going to end. This, But what, what it shows is you get very strong. Now, this is only follow-up a couple years, which is the curse in a lot of these studies. But she finds then that in terms of learning and in terms of a lot of achievement, the improved executive functioning that came from a particular curriculum that she and her co-authors, there are four authors, Barnett's and other members, Steve Barnett, mm -hmm. show very uh, big effects in terms of performance of the children in the school. They follow them into the elementary school. And so that's suggesting that the socio-emotional skill is, is forming architecture, which is what we've always known. So to answer your question, though, I think part of it is that the, these, part of it is that psychology has let us down a little bit, or it's not there yet. And that we somehow have to communicate these, non, these fuzzy skills. So that's why I've been writing papers. So it seems like I must be completely insane, because I'm writing papers showing the importance of non-cognitive skills in adult life. And then there are other papers showing me how it, cognitive skills in adult life are related to cognitive and non-cognitive skills to, ch to child environments. But the, the, the link is clearly there to show the economic importance of non-cognitive traits. Co